Good morning, friends. You guys, I just had a really interesting um, aha about the idea of habit stacking. So a lot of us are, well, we're all human, congratulations, but a lot of us, um, we struggle when we don't have a routine. And so I want you to make that your focus as we move closer to the holidays is to cultivate or recommit to your routine. Some of you might may be new and you don't have a routine yet, but like you, it's not about being motivated. We just talked about this the other day. It's about getting momentum. And the way I get momentum is by creating a series of routines that I just do. And if I don't do, I feel off kilter. So for example, every night before bed, I put my stack of personal development. I have it all. I leave it in this basket underneath my coffee table. And then before I go to bed, I put them, hi friend, I put them in a stack right in the, where I'm going to get up in the morning. So I have my habit. It's not a, oh, if I wind up going to that part of the house or, oh, if I find the space or the room. No, like I, I set the intention. I have made it a habit. It's a non-negotiable. Some mornings I don't get through my entire routine. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I go down the rabbit hole. I get on social media. Good morning. Um, but you, it's important to start figuring out what habits are gonna serve you and help you stay on track and focus with your goals. So like I said, I put all my things out. So the night before I get up in the morning, I get my cup of coffee, I get my glass of water, and that's where the first place I go is I sit down and I just go through my morning routine. I write my gratitude practice, I look at my affirmation card, like seriously, every single day. It's, I make myself do it, it's part of my oxygen mask. And some of you might watch my morning stories and be like, I can't do that many things and don't do that many things. Like this isn't my day one. I have been doing this since I read The Miracle Morning probably like five years ago. That's such an amazing book. If you're struggling with your morning routine or your mindset, I recommend that. It's a great place to begin. It, it shifted everything for me because I never would get up before my kids. Like I've always, I'm a morning person, I'm not a night owl, but I was always reactive because I would get up with them. I would get up with Marshall and I didn't I didn't carve out that time for myself. Even if it's like 10 or 15 minutes, I make myself get up out of bed because if I'm laying in bed, yeah, I might be cozy and like this morning I laid in bed longer than I normally do and I gave myself grace around it, but I'm just telling you that this is all comes down to making the decision that you're going to put on your own oxygen mask. Not that it's going to be perfect or it's going to look like mine or anyone else's. This is going to be what you need. And so every couple of weeks, every month, I kind of reassess. And like I said, this has been a habit that I have created, that I've cultivated and created the last five years, which is why there's so many layers to it. But if you can do nothing else, do this, have your journal. I get these cheapo journals. Hi, Marshall. Get cheapo journals at Marshall's my favorite star. Um, and I force myself to write an entire page of gratitude. I just bullet point it. You guys, you can be grateful for anything. Flushing toilets, toilet paper, lube. I don't know, whatever you want to be grateful for. Stop thinking it has to be some huge, epic, life-shifting thing. It's the little things. And once you start to flip your switch and change your perspective, you start to find the gratitude in the hard stuff, in the challenging stuff, in the tough stuff. It's really very annoying, actually, because <laughs> sometimes you just want to have your temper tantrum, but then your brain is like looking for the good, okay? So I've cultivated this. I have created the habit. I've stacked it. So do your gratitude practice, say an affirmation or two. This month, I actually just like took a, a, I took some old cards I wasn't using and I cut the back off of them and I wrote a bunch of affirmations that I need that speak to me directly and that's what I share. So if I ever share something or you see a quote that inspires you, write it down and put it, it's nothing fancy, it's just an envelope, that's all it is. And every single morning I look at it because your brain will look for proof of your truth. And so if you are not taking the time to condition yourself to prime your pump with gratitude and positivity, your brain is going to naturally look for all the, all the proof that life is hard, that this sucks, this is an overwhelming season, that you're never going to get ahead, that you're never going to lose the weight, that you're never going to cultivate this morning routine. Yes, you are, but you have to take ownership of it and start to condition yourself, create the habit. So challenging you, if your morning routine or your bedtime routine, which I have a crap bedtime routine, I need to work on that. But like, if there's some part of it, stop comparing it and just start gently tweaking it and have it stacked. So every single morning, that's what I do. I share my stories in my stories every single day, right? I have my bar cards, my affirmation cards. I have my Jesus calling that I read. And then I change out different books. Like I love this heart talk by Cleo Weed. 
Wade, <laughs> that too. Um, I just started reading this one again, Switch on Your Brain Every Single Day. It's just like a devotional and I just, you know, I this is probably the sixth time I've tried reading it and this is the first time it actually is connecting with me. So if you do personal development, just know it's so personal and something that really resonates with me may not be what you need and that's okay. You put it back on the bookshelf, you return it to the library and you try it another time, okay? And then like today, I stayed in bed longer so I didn't do my other personal development. So I'm, you know, I'm going to make it a non-negotiable that I listen to it at some point while I make beds, while I do the dishes, while I go for a quick walk. Five minutes is all you need. You guys, it's not about you investing hours every single day. Stop overcomplicating it and stop looking for the reasons why it will not fit your life. It absolutely will fit your life, but it's something you have to take ownership of and you have to create those healthy, positive, inspiring habits. So I have my affirmation cards and then I have my gratitude practice. I've written down my vision and I've talked about this in so many videos. Don't overcomplicate it. I have different areas of my life. I have home, body, relationships, free time career and finances. And then I just bullet point all the things I want that to feel like, I want that to look like, the things I want to have. I read it every single morning after I do my gratitude practice. And then in the next page right here, I write down in my book of proof how that vision is showing up today. Because like I said, your brain is going to look for proof to validate what you believe about yourself, your self-limiting belief or whatever is happening in your life. You're looking for the proof. So create the proof and celebrate that. Even if it's teeny tiny, even if, you know what, you showed up to your workout, but it was a struggle. You chose to show up to your workout. You put that down in your book of freaking proof. Okay, so habit stacking. What, what habits do you need to cultivate? Habits are not necessarily bad. There can be so many good habits that serve you and move you closer to the version of yourself you want to be. Be a work in progress. Doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be yours. True story. So I am back to 80 day obsession. It is 80 days long. It is an hour a day. I have so much fear, so many excuses. Do I, can I really commit to that? I started this at like 8.40 and I just, if I'm really honest, there's still like 10 minutes left and it's now um, 10 to 10, 10 to 11, shit. I'm gonna finish it, okay? But I'm telling you, stop coming up with reasons why you can't start a new program or you can't finish a program. Even if, you know, the next week or so, even if I just get 20 minutes in, I'm still gonna count it as a victory. I'm not gonna pick up where I left off. I'm gonna to go to the next day because you guys, momentum is what will drive your journey along. It's not about being motivated. It's about cultivating the habits and getting the momentum. So check the freaking box, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be yours. Turn on some music, listen to an audiobook. Today I totally listened to uh, Brendan Bouchard's High Performance Academy playlist over on Spotify. It was exactly what I needed. I did play it on full volume. That's right. Did it wake you up? Well, no, I was already awake, but... Whatever. Right? Habit stack. Think about that. If you're, like, really struggling with getting in your water or whatever, I don't know, just, like, create habits that work for you and then tell us what you're doing. Maybe it's you set an alarm on your phone for every hour you have to chug or maybe... Every time you pick up your phone, you know you have to drink your water. Maybe before you eat something, you have to drink your water. I don't know. You make this work for you, okay? Everyone's different. Everyone's in different seasons. We all have different goals. But you can absolutely shift your life one little piece at a time. It's not about doing everything, having a whole life makeover. As great as that would be, and as much as I would love for you to totally do that, let's be real. There's a lot of balls in the air right now. We're all trying to navigate so many different things, especially as we move into the holiday, holidays. Do not allow yourself to let it go, okay? This is the time you really need to lean in and cultivate those habits so that they become something that's not an option. It's just something you freaking do, no matter freaking what. Win your day, okay? What couple of things do you need to do every single day, even if it's half-hearted, even if it's not 100%, but what are the boxes that you personally need to check to know that you're winning your journey? Because it's not a perfect day that will transform your whole life. It is a series of actions. It's a series of choices that compound into a greater transformation, you guys. That's what we're here for. We're here for momentum, and we're here for a lifelong, happy, healthy, sane, freaking journey. So no excuses today. You know what you need to do. You turn it on. You push play. You listen to something that inspires you. You drink your water. You remind yourself of your truths, and then you look for the proof that who you want to become and the life you want to live is showing up right now in this moment because there absolutely is a handful of ways that that is coming true. I dare you. I dare you to prove me wrong. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to finish this. This is my accountability, but I just thought of the idea of habit stacking. Like 
one habit at a time compounded on top of each other. That's how you get momentum. And it also keeps you on point with your own journey.